Hi Church, thanks so much for joining us today uh, in our March month of prayer. I'm praying specifically for the Audacious Foundation. My name's Laura and I'm part of our team here in the Foundation and uh, we'd love for you to join us today praying for programmes uh, across uh, our Foundation, reaching uh, people who are in need in our communities and together we're believing that we will see lives changed and communities transformed. And uh, as you'll be aware, the last couple of years has been a very difficult time for a lot of people. And as with uh, many crises, those who are already uh, disadvantaged um, are often disproportionately impacted. And so it's really important for us now more than ever to support those who are most vulnerable. Uh, just this last Christmas, I met with a family who were facing some significant challenges. They came along to one of our brilliant events uh, where we were providing food support to some of the families in our community and they had a fantastic time. I met um, a family who were parents to uh, five children. Two of those had uh, some significant uh, uh, severe disabilities um, uh, and they were telling me that they had uh, a couple of family members who were um, uh, very ill and passed away just in a, a short uh, space of time and uh, really what a difficult year that it had been and uh, mum was telling me what, a, an inc what it meant, what an incredible support it was to uh, receive help from Audacious and to be a part of the event and she was visibly moved by our offer of uh, a hot meal, radical hospitality and Christmas gifts for the children and although for us it might have been a small act of generosity uh, I could see that it had planted uh, a seed of faith in the hearts of this family. And uh, there's a Bible verse that I'd love to share with you today. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 12 to 14 says, The service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the Lord's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. Because of the service by which you have proved yourselves, people will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ and for your generosity in sharing with them and with everyone else. And in their prayers for you, their hearts will go out for you because of the surpassing grace that God has given you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. And uh, really I'm reminded as I read that passage that our actions reflect the heart of God um, for those who are poor and vulnerable in our communities. When we meet a practical need, as the Bible tells us to do, uh, we give glory to God, but as well we're creating a way for other people to give thanks to God and to encounter God for themselves. And so I'd love to invite you to join us as we pray for the Audacious Foundation today, that we will reach more lives to see genuine change and transformation and to see people encountering God's love. And so I'm just going to share a, a few prayer points with you. We'd love to invite you to pray for all of our A-teams volunteers who are supporting people on the streets and, and experiencing homelessness and that's happening across multiple locations. Let's pray for them um, as they serve people who are in a, a real uh, a significant uh, time of need. Uh, also, as we uh, look to provide housing, education and finances to resettle three families through uh, audacious welcomes. Let's pray for the team uh, as they prepare for that this year, for favour with the local authorities, with the Home Office and uh, with conversations that are happening at a uh, local and national level uh, for us to be able to provide that support. Uh, I'd love for you to pray for um, us as we continue to support families who might be isolated or struggling uh, and that can be through programs like Mini Heroes, through Macmillan Solutions, Audacious School of Language and as well helping people to get back into employment and those who might be struggling um, while they're out of work. Let's pray for the rework program as they continue to meet that need. And really across all of our uh, programs what we're believing for is a, a strengthening 
of our teams for growth uh, and as well for the resource to be able to meet that need and continue to make an impact and make a difference in the communities in our areas. And so uh, let me just pray as I close this devotion, I invite you to, uh, to join with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you today that you are a miracle working God. We thank you uh, that you respond to our prayers. And right now we pray for uh, every a person that is coming in that we're coming into contact with through the audacious foundation that they would know your love that they would um, have every one of their needs met and uh, that we could demonstrate a uh, God that loves them and cares for them uh, in very practical ways God I pray for uh, all of our team who are doing an incredible job at supporting uh, people in difficult situations pray for strengthening uh, and as well as you continue just to pour out the resource that we need to continue uh, to uh, deliver these programs and so, Father, we ask that you would move powerfully through uh, the foundation, through the work of our teams and volunteers over this year, that people would uh, encounter you as a result. And uh, we give you thanks for everything that you're about to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Brilliant. Thanks, everybody. We really appreciate you praying with us and um, I hope you have a fantastic day.